So for those that find themselves in a caregiving role, oftentimes it's a difficult role to embrace because for them, they're just a spouse, just a daughter, just a son. And it wasn't necessarily a role that they signed up for. It may have occurred because their loved one is has a slow deterioration in functioning. Other times it may happen as a result of an acute situation. I find that um, many individuals move into it naturally and others out of a sense of duty. And that can create a lot of ambivalence or struggle um, for that individual who finds themselves in that caregiving role. It's oftentimes a, a ongoing grieving as a caregiver may step into beginning to take over things that their loved one used to do, whether that's bills, whether that's driving, whether that's grocery shopping. And so they begin to see the erosion of functioning and that's very painful to watch and to witness for the caregiver. Then there also is a loss of what they envisioned. I had one client who specifically talked about, I really had a vision for a 10 year plan with my husband into retirement and and now her vision is just simply, we well, just pray for a quiet day. Clients oftentimes feel guilty that they have those, what are considered negative emotions. And, and I talk with them about that caregiving is really the balance between compassion and resentment. Compassion for your loved one who has perhaps a chronic or disabling condition that they just can't help, it's not their fault. And yet the resentment of, this isn't what I signed up for, this isn't what I was expecting, this isn't the way it was supposed to be. And so recognizing that there's that ebb and flow between emotions gives them permission and gives room for all of those emotions as well as the guilt of I haven't done enough or I can't do enough or, um, Again, the, the, the resentment or bitterness of sometimes not towards their loved one, but sometimes towards their relatives who they believe should be doing more. Why isn't she stepping up more? Why isn't he doing more? And, and so navigating all of those becomes important as well as just acknowledge, acknowledging them and validating them within themselves. What's most important is just understanding that there's no right or wrong. It's what is the next best decision to make. For some of those trying to maintain their loved one in their house and their home, and others find that they need to bring in extra support, and still others find that oftentimes they have to consider alternative placement. And again, all of those choices will unfold as the situation presents itself for the needs of their caregiver as their loved one.